On September the 24th, 1966, Alan Coase, Terry Moon and a party from Wessex Caving Club managed to scale a wall next to the rising sun in Danrogov II. They used a combination of human pyramids, pitons and the bold free climbing. This led to a strongly drafting tube at the top, appropriately named Windy Way. And eventually this gave access to the fantastic passages of Danrogov III. Windy Way ends in a worrying 20 meter hole. Originally, this was a frightening, unprotected climb down, but it's now been rigged as a traverse and a pitch. At the bottom is Birthday Passage, discovered by Alan Coase on his birthday. The walls of Birthday Passage are covered with helictites, making it a very beautiful part of the trip. Far below, water running in a large passage is glimpsed, and a 14 metre pitch into the Great North Road completes the route over the top of the rising sun. Great North Road follows the line of a fault. Loose and jammed rocks, pure white calcite mineralization, and some fault slick and slide walls reward the caver's view as they peer up into the huge rift above.
Quite suddenly, the enormous pinnacle chamber comes into view. Its left side is one vertical fault line. The main stream runs deep under the boulder floor and small streams cascade down behind the pinnacle to join it. The main route out of Pinnacle Chamber is down an awkward slot into the stream and up the meanders, where the water is yet to discover the fault line. Above the meanders are ancient abandoned high level passages, one called North Bypass and the other the Mostest. These contain some of the most spectacular sand and calcite formations in the whole of Danarogov. Those drips over the uh, crystals are wonderful. months the large sand chokes at the end of the meanders was the limit of exploration but in April 1967 Dave Judson and a party from Yorkshire 
climbed a rift, now called North Avon Climb. It is now slippery and needs a rope, but this 17 metre long obstacle was the last before cavers were able to enter the huge passages of far north. the biggest and most dramatic part of the Far North Passage. Almost immediately after, collapse features lower the cave and the final choke is reached. However, the cave reserves some beautiful formations for the last few metres. 